how's it going popping in today about to react to this jamari vid it's titled he finally got sued okay one of the aggressive nerds have gotten sued this is what happens when you go around messing with people uh let's see what happened let's watch last time we discussed streamer jack doherty it was not looking good for him the man went to the hood and got oh, slapped yes. up he was pressing old men at the boardwalk and in the mall and really anywhere else you can imagine. As you guys know, Jack is most famous at this point for throwing rocks and then hiding behind his security, provoking other grown men to physical altercations and then calling in his backup. And we have also noted that it's not only Jack acting recklessly in these situations, but also the security who he hires and the serious lack of constraint that they show. In fact, it seems like they are more than anxious to do this quote unquote defending and that they are more or less looking for a problem themselves. But now it looks like this enabling of bad behavior could be backfiring on Jack as he has allegedly been sued over an incident that Period. went down on Halloween night. Good. And I've shown you guys this clip in previous videos, but this is apparently the reason for this alleged lawsuit. <laughs> So obviously they were having some sort of verbal altercation, but obviously nothing here was getting physical and then really completely unprovoked, this security guard does the most unprofessional thing and just completely flat he just the guy and punches him right in his face. And, hey, and he will always make comments like, oh, what are you about to go to your fine ass? And then I'm like, sir, calm down. This nigga is big. When I tell you he is tall, <laughs> he is hella tall and he is stocky, very. And I will be like, bro. This little dicky looking individual for actually getting back up. I gotta say, there's Why nothing worse than me? getting punched in your dome piece right in front of the hose. Shut up. The hose? You got knocked out in front of the hose. And at first, I actually thought that this man was AD who used to come out on No Jumper, but he's apparently a security guard that worked for the baby, baby back yeah. in the day before he did some suspect shit when he was protecting him. I mean, if I'm hiring a security guard, I do not want him wearing Balenciaga t-shirts. Like, let me get a Punisher logo. Let me get that slightly <laughs> racist blue line. In all seriousness though, this guy is literally twice the size of anyone else featured in this video. And I feel like if God makes you that big, it's almost like what Uncle Ben said, with great power comes okay. great responsibility. <laughs> and if your big ass can just run around like Donkey Kong, just hitting people on the top of the head so and Jack knocking them out, super? you need to be able yeah. to control your emotions. I mean, this guy was completely out of pocket. And I'm guessing when that little dicky looking individual got punched in his face, it wasn't only stars he was seeing, okay? This man started seeing dollar signs. And so he came back with this type of energy for Jack. You better lawyer up, asshole. Because I'm not coming back for 30%. I'm coming back for everything. And so TMZ reported this yesterday. YouTuber Jack Doherty sued yeah. for assault and battery over bodyguard punch. Jack Doherty is being sued for and battery by a man who claims Doherty and I mean, can you get sued though? I mean, you are his employer, but he ultimately decided to attack him how is that your responsibility i don't know the man beat him up at a party a few days before halloween a man named chase gardella is suing youtuber Maybe it'll bodyguard get I'm King not sure. Kong. yeah if i'm getting a bodyguard that motherfucker does not need to have a nickname and then they show some pictures of his lip post punch and it's really not looking good guys jesus christ I mean, I do feel I'm like when you're good. doing the type of streaming that Jack and Neon and even Fousey was doing a couple of months back, you are opening yourself up to a lot of legal action. You're opening yourself up to quite a bit of lawsuits because you're essentially running around acting like a degenerate in public for the entertainment of your audience. <sighs> And literally all the evidence is going to be right there on your stream. I mean, we just saw this kind of same thing happen with Johnny Somali who as he was rising to bigger and bigger streaming numbers, was giving these authorities all this different evidence to work with. This. And this all apparently went down at a David Dobrik Halloween party. Okay, it's good to know that that sick is still out here running around. Gardell claims that he was at this Halloween party on October 29th, 
and was talking to Jack and Kane around 12.30 a.m. Jack said, we're gonna fight, us two versus you two, all right, go. Which lines up with the YouTube clip, and moments later, Chase says Kong punched him. Oh, Chase is- he can argue that, that Jack kind of encouraged the behavior, and he kind of sicked his security on him. Saying he did not consent to being punched, you don't say, and suffered injuries to his head, neck, and face I didn't when he hear fell. Jack say that. You know, the better thing in that situation would have actually been to just not get up. Just to have pretended to win unconscious. Like, now I got that CTE brain. My, my CTE, I did not. <laughs> claims that Jack has posted a number of videos to his YouTube account where his bodyguards intimidate people who react poorly to his pranks. So this lawsuit might go a little bit deeper, okay? There's a lot of evidence lining up against Jack. Mm. And maybe we could actually see more people, like, piggybacking onto this thing. And this is where the DeBaby incident comes in. He also claims that this bodyguard has been in legal trouble for assaults in the past. You'll recall we reported an earlier alleged incident where he was accused of knocking out a woman while working as security for DeBaby. Oh, this morning, I'm seeing in a comment like, and little dickie's attorney goes on to say this was a disgusting unprovoked assault on a young man by a professional boxer oh that could make things much worse Aren't your hands like considered lethal weapons at that point? They're saying this all went down at the hands of Jack Doherty. Chase was minding his own business, enjoying a fun Halloween party with friends when he was brutally attacked by a man several times larger than him. Chase suffered serious injuries that could derail his life and career. God damn, they're really coming for the entire enchilada, guys. And who would have thought, guys, when this clip originally came out about six months ago, that Fousey would have been the hero that we didn't know we deserved? <laughs> Bro, you're up. <laughs> he didn't have shit money yet. Yo, you're I'm made up. Imagine being 33 years old. I'm and fuck, yo, get me some water bottles, John. Give me some. You're lucky yo. I made friends with your security guard. We're going back. Hey, yo, we can't fuck. He's about to attack him. Let's. Oh, Recent video of a club promoter trying to hype Jack up. Crowd goes mild. I mean, all you have to do is watch this video to understand how quickly fine. this man would get absolutely schooled in a street fight. Watch this. Watch me. Okay. I just do this every day. I was doing shoulder press today and I can't get it all up. Oh, 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 this didn't happen. <laughs> if you are a grown man who cannot bench like, 135 at least one time, you need to look into the mirror and ask yourself some serious questions about average? your life. Like the average middle schooler from Texas is throwing up this weight. And oh. obviously being strong in the weight room isn't like the end all be all, but at this point I'm thinking a strong gust of wind could knock this motherfucker out. I mean the jacks and the neons of the world really do need to be more careful. Just look at this sparring footage. Watch your face! And you would see how quickly things could go awry for either one of them. Now, the other big news surrounding Jack is actually that he had a tape leak. And yes, guys, I'm serious. It is that type of tape. I mean, it looks like Roger the alien is out here trying to give out back shots. Regardless, that tape being leaked kind of speaks to a greater issue regarding Twitter right now, where you'll see tweets like this going viral, sending Jack Doherty leak to whoever likes this tweet. Like on the current Twitter platform, the way their algorithm is set up, you have tweets like this getting millions of impressions. Obviously, I gotta blur the screen out, but you have all these different OF girls constantly promoting their exclusive content by using these trending topics. Like what type of basement dweller is out here doing this shit? Anyone who wants the Jack Doherty leak should DM me and make sure to retweet this post. Is that how he was like 10? The motherfucker looks like he's in middle school in this picture. I mean, to me, it's like some of you people out there on Twitter seriously need to be jailed. Imagine you get thrown into your cell. Oh, what are you in here for, dude? Yeah, actually, I shared the 
Mixtape of my favorite Twitch streamer. Seriously though, guys, the people who post this type of shit need some serious help. Like, who is out here running this page, okay? This is called the Blacked Pill. Jack Doherty needs black men to teach him how to improve his stroke game. Damn! This is how you dig out guts. But I do gotta say it is pretty glorious for Jack to take this massive that L. Was such this a little weird stick thing to of say. his has been going on far too long, where he's out here hiding behind his security guards, acting like a tough guy. And I really hope this does serve as a lesson for all the other streamers out there. That just because you're popping or making money doesn't mean that you can just do whatever the f you want to people. Either way, y'all let me know what you guys think about this story down below. Well, that's what you get for going around acting stupid. Why would you make that comment and say that? Like, oh, it's me and him against y'all too. So it's like, okay, you're encouraging violence. You're encouraging your security guard to hit the guy. So I can see how they can spin that into a lawsuit. Get your funds together, brother. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!